No, that did not just happen. It fell off. I knew it. No, forgot I didn't have a bracket on the bottom of my camera. Good thing carrying my L bracket in my bag at all times. So I decided to come out and try and get some really cool water droplet photos. And this is something that I really wanted to kind of work on. I came out like two weeks ago, but uh, it stopped raining last time I came out. The wind showed up. You can't have wind when you're doing this type of photography. So it did not work out that well. So what I'm doing is just making sure that the water droplet itself here is in focus. I have a little branch coming out. It's actually prickers, so it's probably poison ivy. We're pretty much in an opening here, so all the rain and mist is coming down. And these have like these beautiful little droplets on them of water. Just gonna zoom in here, make sure I have what I want. In terms of settings, I'm at f3.5, 150th of a second. ISO 200, ISO 200 because I don't want to go too slow on the shutter speed. Manual focus, two second delay. Oh yeah, she's a beaut. Give the rain another couple minutes. It's supposed to continue raining or kind of drizzling for the next like I think 20 30 minutes. So just came over to the car, found this little chill spot here. I just kind of backed in, have some uh, some overhead protection here. Wait like 20 minutes because it's only like 4 30 right now. Yeah, 4 40. Got plenty of time for light, and I really want to grab at least two or three more photos or try and get, you know, two or three more decent photos, which I don't think is going to be a problem. So yeah, just going to sit tight, have a little snack, make a cup of coffee, and enjoy the woods. This stuff is good. So I was at like, I don't know, Walmart or something. And I came across this stuff. It's Maxwell House Vanilla Caramel Latte. I'm telling you, for like two or three bucks, I don't think you can beat it. It's like instant. It tastes good. I guess that's all that really matters is it's instant and it tastes good. Let's pack it in. We'll try somewhere new. See if we can get a couple more photos in. I love those guys. So I got what I think is a really cool shot. I am really close into this. All right, here's what I'm doing. 
So there's this little pine tree here, baby pine tree. All these water droplets all over it. And I have a great composition. I might have to do some cropping, but let me just show you the back of the screen. I'm focusing right on this water droplet right here. And all of the rest of them are basically gonna be out of focus. There's nothing too distracting in the background. Actually, I think I might bring the camera up a little bit uh, so that this water droplet is maybe down here, but I could crop that too. But anyways, yeah, so what I'm gonna do quickly is I'm going to adjust the camera higher up just a little bit so that water droplet is a little bit lower in the frame. I'm going to F6.3 because I want like that whole thing to be in focus. I'm gonna jack up my ISO to a thousand. I typically don't like to do this. I don't want my shutter speed to be really slow in case this thing moves. So I'm at 1 40th of a second, F6.3, ISO 100, I'm sorry, ISO 1000. A little higher than I'd like to be, but it's exposed properly. So I shouldn't have to bring up any shadows or anything like that and introduce any noise. Two second delay, which is critical. You should probably even maybe use a 10 second delay. Oh man, that is, razor sharp this lens is ridiculously sharp you know what I'm a crop in you know I got the 1.6 crop factor on this as my custom one button let's just make sure we're focused in again which it should be fine manual love it love it love it here's the original and then I'll show you the cropped in one. Oh, love this stuff. Okay, so what I'm looking for now is like a water drop. You guys can see that to like be hanging right off of a branch or a water drop hanging off of like pine needles um, basically what I had but I want just like one single water drop instead of like a bunch of them it's easy to find here but the problem is can I get the lens and the camera close enough you know to get like that macro shot so that's what I'm kind of struggling with but pretty confident we can find one let me get this thing set up it's right here right behind me there it's like pretty big. That's exactly what I'm looking for. No, that did not just happen. It fell off. I knew it. There's another one. We got it. Okay. I like having the open sky up here. Literally just have the branch coming down, the water drop. Then you have this other one here. I like how it looks. 1 40th of a second, F6.3, ISO 1000. I am a little underexposed, so I'm probably gonna have to push it up a little bit. But this is a really tricky shot because this little branch keeps on moving. I'm using autofocus, two second delay, if I go any slower than 1 40th, it's going to be hard to get this to freeze. I mean, right there works. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, that is unbelievable. Let's push this up to 1600 ISO. I want to go to F7.1. So it's a little bit more in focus. There we go. Oh, God. There we go. I want to see if I can get closer to this. I don't want to hit any branches. This is a razor close. I don't even know if I can focus this close. Let's try and use autofocus. No way. It goes all the way out to the tree. Let's bring it back. Oh, that reflection in the water drop. I'll go a little faster shutter speed here. 1 50th. 
All you gotta do sometimes is pick up a camera, keep an open mind, and walk into the woods. Honestly, when it was raining out here like an hour ago, before I had the coffee, I was like, oh, maybe I should just go home. I live like 15 minutes from here, so it's really tempting to like jump in the car, go home. But I was like, no, you know what? Like, I want to get more than one photo. Came out here. I wanted to get at least two photos that I liked. I think I got like four good photos, so I'm happy about that. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you on board. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Oh man, I had my bag open the whole time. Water droplets are going in there. Everything is soaked.